Hello everybody, welcome back. I'm Nathan, and I don't care, I'm gaming. So, yeah, we're just gonna head straight into um, this new Starfall Street event. Um, if you like this content, like, share, subscribe, all that good stuff. And then, yeah, let's go ahead and start. So, this is a, a new recording. Uh, I I took like a a day off to um, you know do stuff and also like render videos and such. So anyway, so we'll, we'll get straight back into the the gist of this. I'm really excited. I um, I really like the first Starfall Street story. So. I'm looking forward to this one. Okay then. Uh, we should defeat... Yep. Just like last time. Okay. Take, take him out. Take him out. Take him out. Okay. Oh. Well. This should be easy for us. Where is it? Where are we going? Okay. There's some torquals. Um, how I, mean, I want I wanna try getting my other Pokemon out here. Yeah, I'm like Yeah, I'm like my knackle stack. Oh. Not, not exactly easy right now. What the? Well, there's some char cadets. Let's take them out. I mean, this sh this shouldn't be too hard. Uh, and they give you a lot of time for these. I mean, jeez. Oh, I'm trying to... Oh, well, they said restore... Oh. I mean, that seems really easy. Like, they give... Wow, okay. Because uh, then you also have Clive up there who said he'll help you. But it's like... Do you even need that? When they have... They give you so much time and all? Well, anyway. I mean, I guess I'm not really complaining. This is just... As long as we can go smoothly. Like what they should do is like they should take away some time to um to make it a bit harder every time you recover. Yeah, every time you recover, because I feel like that would make a lot more sense. Because right now, if we can just stroll on through this. This this, this seems this hardly seems like a challenge. Gotta say. A lot of dog Pokemon in this. Like, I know I'm not... I know that's not the first time I said that, but... Man, there's, there's like, there's so many dogs. I mean, I like it. I like dogs, but... I wish... How do I... Here we go. Okay. Uh, so... Okay, so yeah, that was fairly easy. So then now we uh, face Mila, I believe. Uh, yep. Sick. All right. So I've been um over these past few days, I've been having like. Hmm. Man, they they are killing the designs of the um of the characters in this game. I mean this Mila, she herself is pretty fire, right? Um anyway, what should I what should what voice should I give her? I don't know why you do something so stupid and I don't care. You challenged us, so we'll beat you down. That's all there is it 
there is to it. Prepare to get messed up. I don't know why she sounds like she's high, but also mm, like a hippie. But okay, whatever. Okay. I mean, I'm not really scared. Like you seem, you seem like you're gonna be easy for some reason. We shall see. Nope, she's level 27. Okay, we're in the ballpark then. Okay. We shall dig. Da, 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 da. This move will torture. Okay. Interesting. Flame wheel. Interesting move, but they're too slow. Hmm, that does not do as much damage as I would hope. That does way more damage than I would think. Okay then. Um, well. I mean, I'll go ahead and just switch out with Knackle Stack. All I think I can do is I can keep Iron Defensing, Recover, and then hit him with the constant Rock type moves. Yeah, that's... Okay. Are you defensing? Oh yeah, and Torko is slower. Ah, that's funny. Alright. So, as I was saying, uh, over the past few days, I've had, um... I've had, like, a, a bad sore on my... in my mouth. Like the upper left, upper left um, part of my, the inside of my lip. So every time my teeth rub against it, it's like making it more irritated. And that, and the sore is there because I, as I was eating something, I, uh, I bit into my lip, which, you know, I hate. But, um, yeah, that's uh, that's just how it is. And now this one has been there for about four or five days or so. And uh, it doesn't, doesn't really feel like it's going down this time soon, but... We'll see. Oh crap, they, I realized what they just did. Well, okay. Well, we can't dwell too much on this. It started raining. You know, these mid-battle weather effects are interesting, I gotta say. Kind of cool, honestly. But also, I mean, I can understand if it would be a bit frustrating for some people. Like, like the Sandstorm um, battle between, like, with Kofu. That was, uh, that was interesting. I thought that was fun, but I could also see if it was, you know, super frustrating for some people because Aside from sandstorm damage, you also have like the interruption in battle. And then you have like Pokemon with weather affecting abilities. Okay, we shall recover here. Keep that keep that easy and clean. Yep. Okay. Well, I wonder if salt cure has like a limit. I'm I'm curious. Or does it keep on going until like the Pokemon switches out or dies? I wonder. Well, I'm going to go ahead and iron defense. I'm going to bank on that. And hopefully they don't clear this mod me one more time. And let's see if salt cure uh, takes it down. Sweet. Alright. Okay, so who is on that mm. room? The car? Okay. Now this could be slightly problematic. Cause you're a steel poison type. Okay. If I remember correctly, Sulkia does something 
against steel types, which is good. Oh yeah. Love it. Okay, so... I, I love those moves where they, like, affect things outside of whatever it should affect. Like, uh, Flying Press, which is a fighting move, right? Or is it... Well, it's a fighting move, but it acts like a flying move, so it can affect fighting types. Anyway... I'm gonna go ahead and, um... Do, oh... Whoa... Well, what's that? Okay. Yeah, I wasn't too sure of my, um... I wasn't too sure of Knuckle Stack's special defense, so... That's not too bad. I mean, speed boost isn't really anything to me, so... Is this, uh, this the only other Pokemon that she has? Didn't, um... What's his face? Um, Giacomo have three in total? Or am I misremembering that? Anyway... Okay. Oh yeah. I'm now realizing you have a Screech, so you can completely nullify us, huh? Well, too bad. We're going to Salt Cure you. Actually, oh, Salt is not affecting this thing. Huh. Okay, well, that's fine. Doesn't matter to me. We can still, uh, we can still pull this out. I would have thought that Salt Kill would have, like, taken it down, but it is what it is. I've seen that from Room um, on the back axle, if you, if you look at there, which is uh, interesting. It kind of reminds me of Dragapult, which, um, you know, had um, Treepy in its design. Ooh, okay, wow, that, was, that took that down. Ooh. Okay, we defeated Mila. Sweet. Okay, oh, we gotta get a backstory here? Ugh. This is... Is this really how it's gonna end? What a hassle. I imagine her having the voice of Raven, you know. From Teen Titans. Ah, man, what a hassle. Pull it off just in time. God, who's Aerie? Okay, uh, well, I'm just gonna give them all generic voices. Welcome back, Melly. I managed to get up. I managed to get a bunch of Char Cadet to evolve. That ought to be enough to power the Starmobile and finally get that hunk of metal rolling. Glad things... Glad Titans indeed. Is it not so, Ortega? <clears throat> I'm just surprised she's not all hot air. Oh, shut up. With the snide of uh, comments. You can be such an annoying twerp, you know that? As if you're any better, Mella. Mila? I don't know how to pronounce your name. Being rude and saying mean things is literally your whole deal. That's not true, Oiti. The girls at the academy have always been jealous of how cute Melly is. She just puts on a surly attitude so they'll stop picking on her. Although, I guess they're not wrong to say that her surly attitude is what people know her for. What? Come on, not you too, Aerie. Okay, this guy, I remember his voice. Mm. How's about we leave? Oh god, I remember his voice and I'm doing it terribly. How's about we leaves it? Leaves it at that, folks. It's time for the big events. God, I'm... Ah, Jesus Christ. That is so embarrassing. Yes, Operation Star is finally happening. And the big boss, what prey is their plan? They's already got in touch with all the bullies and asked them to head over to the schoolyards. 
It's finally time, huh? Man, I'm so stoked. The thrill is burning me. Can't you tell how excited I am? Oh, I'm so happy. Okay, that wasn't as emotionally charged as Giacomo's story, but... Okay. I mean, I, not everyone has to be. I burned through everything I had, and now I've spread it out. Guess this is where it ends. That Green Brothers always really let's have it. Huh. <laughs> that, was that a walk? She, she looked like she was doing high kicks. <sighs> Beating me in a battle is a huge deal, so here, take this star badge. <laughs> okay, that's, that's pretty funny, I gotta, I gotta say. While I'm at it, you can have this TM too. Not like I'm gonna use it. Flame charge, okay, okay. Let me make one thing clear. I'm not giving these to you. I'm giving these to the uh, Grievard. Can Grievard, can Grievard learn that? We'll see. You're Mela of the Team Star, right? This is a Pokemon I'd like you to see. Huh? Who are you supposed to be? A Chargadet? Wait. Well, if it ain't Charlos, what are you doing here? It seems he came to, to this base looking for you. You did? He's very attached to you, isn't he? Yeah, cause I used to play with him every day back when I was still going to school. I can even tell more or less what he's thinking just by looking at the way his flames move. Do you have any idea why Charlos wanted to visit you? To me, it looks like he's saying that he wants you to come back. Homie? <sighs> just shut it already, will ya? They say Team Star has holed itself up in these bases to plot something against the Academy. First I've heard of a stupid rumor like that. Man, nothing's changed since back then. Everyone's still spouting garbage. Then what about that modified car you were motoring around in? The Starmobile? We made that thing a long time ago to help us with a big fight. But we never actually used it against anyone before you came came looking for trouble. You never used it before? And what's this a big fight? Have you heard of Operation Star? Operation Star? Not Operation Starfall? No, this is the first I'm hearing of it. Yeah, I guess you wouldn't know. But for me and the rest of Team Star, it's a memory we'll always treasure. Oh, well, I, I guess that's the end of that, huh? Okay. That's fine. Okay then, uh, Well, at least we do get a little look into, uh... The backstory... Of, uh, Team Star. Especially with Mila. Okay, Cassiopeia. <clears throat> Nathan, it's me. I take it I take it that Mila's star badge is now in your possession. I see. Now that there's no boss to lead them, the rest of the Cedar squad shouldn't last long. Mila. Sorry, I got distracted for a second there. Now, about your reward. I'll transfer some LP over to your phone. Sweet. Okay. More teams, that's nice. That's nice. I'll have my supply unit sort and shortly meet you. Okay, bye. Da, 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 da. Hello, it's me again. From the supply unit. Wow, what the heck? Oh, is, is it licking her? What a weird thing, huh? Well, I 
guess they can do that. Bleh. It drooled all over me. What even is that Pokemon anyway? I guess that's one word for it. Wait, is it really that special? Um, but before I forget, here's your reward. Um, your name's Nathan, right? Since you're part of Operation Starfall's battle unit, can I ask you something? What do you think of Team Star? I mean, I guess I'll be nice. Interesting. You know, some of the rumors say Team Star wasn't always a bunch of delinquents. Most of them used to be victims of bullying, or they just found it hard to interact with people. But then these misfits and outsiders found each other and banded together to form Team Star. All they wanted to do was push back. Uh, that's the info I get by hacking into other students' social media accounts anyway. I also found talk about some secret mastermind behind the five bosses, someone who recruited them to the team in the first place. I don't normally talk this much, now my throat kind of hurts. So, um, good luck with taking down the other spaces and stuff. It would be weird if she wasn't the, uh, heavily involved in the Team Star story, or if she wasn't Cassiopeia herself. Because then, I feel like that she just wouldn't really have much of a purpose here. Okay, uh, excuse me, excuse me. Okay, I'm gonna go check out that hill because they likely have something out there. Ah, look at that. They have some things, I guess. Oh, here's a Pokeball. Um... Well, I guess they don't have a TM around here, I guess. They did in the last base, so... Would've been nice to cover. Okay, where are we going now? Let's see where we're going. Okay. We were just there. So now, I guess we're going here. Not, not that. And then we have an outbreak on the way, so that'll be interesting to look at. But anyway, thank you for joining me this time. Uh, this was a, this was a real interesting episode full of, full of fun surprises and whatnot. But now we shall end it and we will be on our way to La Lavincia, I think it was called. So anyway, thank you. I've been Nathan and I don't care by this point. Goodbye.